Honorable Speaker, I started my speech during the debate on arts and culture yesterday by saying that there is no need to remind the Minister and his department of just how an important role the department has to play towards nation building and social cohesion. This is indeed true for not only arts and culture but also for sports and recreation. While it is the responsibility of the department to promote multilingualism, sport is a universal language that we all can speak. For instance, the Honourable Paulson and myself may not agree on many things, but I hope that we are on the same page in our support of Bafana Bafana or the Springboks. I sincerely hope that we are also on the same page on the importance of the promotion of recreational activities among all communities towards promoting a healthy, active lifestyle to curb the incidence of lifestyle diseases. Suid-Afrika is a sport nasie, soos die achtbare minister gesê het, met een alle lange rekord van uitstekende sportprestaties en atlete. Die departementse verskye programme en die implementering van die begroting moet toesien tot die volhoubare prestasierekord dier die bevordering van sport vanaf skole tot op professionele vlak. Daar is echter verskye struikelblokke wat dier die ANC-regering self geskep is wat in die pad van die voortgesette prestasierekord en behoorlijke nasiebouw en sociale koeiesie staan. The National Development Plan's transformation vision for sports in 2030 is that participation in each sporting code begins to approximate the demographics of the country. This statement in itself is fatally flawed. Sport is, a competitor, is competitive. It is the nature of any game or competition. Therefore, you cannot force participation to equate to some cosmetic quota. Participation must be based on merit or there would be no game or competition. Honourable Minister, we will not soar if we do not promote proper sports development and field sports teams that are picked on merit. If the ANC government is serious about promoting and developing sport for the greater good of the South African community, it should rather focus on proper sports development from grass grassroots levels in schools. Cosmetic transformation of professional sports teams by forcing them to adhere to a certain quota will not succeed in the long run. Athletes must be enabled to compete on merit by receiving the proper coaching with proper facilities from the lowest level in order to compete at provincial and national levels. The state of sports and recreational facilities, Honourable Minister, in our country is an enormous problem. The National Development Plan envisages that the government ensures adequate facilities for the majority of the population to play sport and the adequate maintenance of such. Let me tell you, Honourable Chair, the ANC has failed dismally in attaining these goals. The sports facilities in local communities are in a deplorable state, and I'm sure that no one can argue with that fact. Facilities under the management of municipalities are even worse off. In the Free State Province, from Edinburgh to Sasselburg, and I'm sure everywhere else, there is not a single public swimming pool in working condition. These facilities, once the pride of small towns across the country, have become dumping sites. The same goes for stadiums and other uh, sporting facilities. There are many communities that desperately want to contribute to their local sporting facilities, like that of Wesselsbron in the Free State, where the once proud Fricky Cronier Stadium is in ruins. Yet the municipality refuses help from the community to maintain it because it has absolutely no political will to do so. The allocation of 620 million rand towards the mass participation and sport development grant to the nine provinces must be carefully monitored with the proper checks and balances to ensure the funds go indeed go towards furthering the development of sport and recreation in the provinces. For too long, transfers to provinces and federations have, been used for, have not been used for the intended purposes. There must be severe consequences for the misappropriation of these funds. The regering moet oppe in mengen sport. Skepe omgeving waar sportsoorte ontwikkel word en atlete kan deelneem en gelijke geleendhede tot deelname het. Die ANC regering, sy volgehouwe en menging in die kies van sportspanne bedreig ons eens trotse naas, die achtbare minister. Ten slotte, ek wens namens die VF Plus ons medeleie met die naasbestaandes ook van James Small te betoon. Hy was een ware Suid-Afrikaanse sportheld wat gesorg het vir baie opwinning op en van die veld af. Ek wens ook vir Bongiwe, Erin Karla, coach Norma Plammer en die rest van die Suid-Afrikaanse netbalspan baie sterkte toe in die netbalwereldbeke reeks. Jylle maak ons trots. Ek dank.